In a recent video that described a remarkable recovery from follicular lymphoma with water fasting, published in the British Medical Journal, I stated that if you're planning to water only fast longer than three days, this must be done under strict medical supervision. Why is this, when water fasting appears to be such a powerful tool in recovery from chronic disease? Well, firstly, the reason we think water fasting is so powerful is that it promotes something called autophagy, a process in which the body breaks down and recycles old, potentially dangerous parts of your cells. Autophagy may therefore prevent damaged parts of your cells from accumulating, which is a risk factor for many cancers. This may help prevent cancer cells from growing. And according to animal studies, water fasting may lower the risk of chronic diseases like diabetes, cancer and heart disease. So with all these benefits, why is water fasting not recommended for longer than three days? Well, let's hear as Dr. Michael Greger explains the reasons why. We should never be fasting more than a few days without uh, medical supervision, and that's because normally your kidneys go into sodium conservation mode as soon as you stop eating. I mean, so salt is, is an essential nutrient. Most of us get too much of it. Um, but as soon as we stop eating it, um, our kidneys, which normally pee out salt all the day, they're like, oh, God, did you just eat french fries? Oh, God, okay. And it's like getting rid of, getting rid of sodium, and all of a sudden you stop eating, period. You're just drinking water. And then the kidney's like, well, 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 wait a second. And so you stop losing sodium, and it retains all the sodium in your body um, so you don't die. But some people, their kidneys don't do that. They fast, and their kidneys don't get the signal, and you keep losing sodium. And then the sodium levels in your brain go down, and you experience vague symptoms, like, I feel a little dizzy. I feel a little headachey, like standard fasting kind of symptoms. And then, comatose and dead. <laughs> comatose and dead from hypernatremia, inadequate sodium intake. How do you know? Because you're under medical supervision. They're testing your urine. They're doing blood tests. Make sure your electrolytes are okay. Should be totally fine. But you don't know if your kidneys are, are smart or not. So it's, it's not just like legalese to be like, uh, make sure a doctor, you know. No, you want to make sure that things go according to plan. It's extraordinarily safe if things go to plan. But they don't. you got to stop immediately and refeeding is a critical period. Anyway, oh, we go on. Good stuff. Very, very fascinating literature and got lots of good videos on it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.